In the second set of notes in section 2.1, we'll be focusing on the following two example problems. For number three, we want to find the area of the rectangle. So you should be thinking back to what you've learned in the past. We know that we could find the area of a rectangle by doing base times height or length times width. Let's first start off by finding the length of segment AB. Please keep in mind that our Y coordinates for those points are the same. They're both eight. So what we're going to be focusing on here is the change in our X coordinates. And our X coordinates are ranging from negative four to 10, which means that the length of segment AB is 14. You could find that by subtracting negative four from 10. Now let's focus on segment BC. Notice that our X coordinates are the same for those two points. They're both 10. So we're going to focus on the change in our Y coordinates here, which range from negative two to eight which means that that segment has a length of 10. You could find that by subtracting negative two from eight. We could find the area of our rectangle by doing base times height. And now since we know our dimensions, we could do 14 times 10, which leaves us with 140 units squared. For part B, we wanna find the coordinates of point D. So let's take a look at point D and let's use the other points that were given with those coordinates to help us out. So if we notice here, point D is as far left as point A. And point A has an X coordinate of negative four, which means that point D must also have an X coordinate of negative four. And point D is as far down as point C. And point C is negative two units down, which means that it shares that Y coordinate of negative two. So our coordinates for point D are negative four, negative two. Let's take a look at example four. Example four, we're given a lot of information here. Make sure you take the time to fill in all of this information in your diagram. You have to do this. This holds true for these types of problems as well as your proofs. You have to be marking up your diagrams with tick marks and filling in your given information. Because we're given those perpendicular segments, we should be thinking about what we learned today, which then gives us that angle BFD must be a right angle or have a measure of 90 degrees. So we can say that that angle BFC and angle CFD add up to 90. So 2x plus 3y equals 90. Since we can assume straight angles from the diagram, we know that all four of those angles must create a straight angle or add up to 180 degrees. So we can say that y plus 2x plus 3y plus 4x must equal 180. At this point, I'm going to combine some like terms. And what we should be noticing now is we have two equations. And in each equation, we have x and y. So we have to solve a system of equations now. So I'm going to use the first equation we came up with, which is 2x plus 3y equals 90. And then I'm going to rewrite the second equation we came up with so that we have our x's and y's in order. So I'm going to rewrite the second equation as 6x plus 4y equals 180. In order to solve this system, I'm going to use the elimin elimination method, excuse me, or linear combinations, which means that we have to multiply our first equation by negative three in order to eliminate our axis. Keep in mind you're distributing that negative three to each term in the equation, including the 90 on the other side of the equal sign. Once we do that, we can add our two equations together, elementary style. So when we add our six x plus negative six x, our x is eliminate, which is what we want, which leaves us with the equation negative 5y is equal to negative 90, which means that y has a value of 18. Let's go ahead and find x. You can choose which equation you'd like to substitute the y back into. I'm going to take the first equation, which is the 2x plus 3y equals 90, and I'm going to substitute 18 in for y in that equation. Let's go ahead and solve it. Which means that x also has a value of 18. 
and we want to find the measure of angle DFE. Well, angle DFE is represented by 4x. So we can substitute 18 in for x. We get that the measure of angle DFE is 72 degrees.